Welcome back to STG TV. It's your boy, Salute the General. Ready to check out Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 3. Let's get it. Peaky motherfucking blinders, bitch. Two pounds, ten shillings. Ten shillings. Buy something red. To match his handkerchief. Whose handkerchief? <laughs> she took that money off that counter real quick. <laughs> he ain't stealing my shit. Freddie, you about to get your ass murdered out here. How do I look? Like an angel. Okay, Freddy. My tactics come from my experiences in France. Most of my great lumps of men served in France too, sir. I serve my country every day. That'll be all, Sergeant. I see everybody question his heart, huh? Because he ducked out on the war. Little bitch boy. Who the fuck is this that she's following? Fancy me, dear. I'm taking you in for interrogation. On behalf of the Irish Free State. Hmm. Who the fuck saw that? that was her first body I want to know who the fuck it was that saw her what the bloody hell is she doing here 200 pounds Freddy I booked you both tickets for the next boat from Liverpool to New York America Freddy they've already had their revolution you won't have to bother I don't know Freddy I know that because of our family connections you take my progress personally. But I don't need you to be my father. I would be thinking of you. I don't think he thinks of you as a father. He trying to get in them guts. Told me you best have a word with Arthur as well. What's wrong with bloody Arthur? He's got the Flanders blues again. Fuck is the Flanders Blues? What bloody god, Tommy? We had some luck. Some bloody luck. It fell off a wagon into our laps. And all you need to know is, it's us that has the machine guns now, and it's them that's in the mud. I have a surprise for you. Come on. This war fucked all of them up, huh? You loaded Ada with your bastard because she's a Shelby. You thought it'd mean you'd be somebody. My God. You actually believe that? I've loved her since she was nine and I was 12. She loves me the same. This marriage will not stand. You didn't even tell his ass that it's the cop that wants his ass out of town, man. What the fuck is he smoking? Fucked up. Very last one of them. She 
Couldn't replace that one bullet. Is it just the two of us going to the races? Something like that. Uh-oh, it's about to go down. Those of you with guns, keep them out of it. Unless the gun is pulled on you, we want this done quietly. So when do we share out the cash? We don't. We're not keeping the cash. You're in Tommy's army now, boys. Trust only kin. Uh, bringing the goons in the back way, huh? I don't like that motherfucker, man. Hello, Raz. How's business? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I still Raz. But I'll take the old ear off. We in the protection there. I commandeer this stolen Fucking money looking like holy field by order shit. of the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Bitch. That <I> fucking... <laughs> Razors in the hat move is hard. I'm about to start tucking some shits. Your man said it was all right for me to have this dance. She ain't making no eye contact with that motherfucker. If you want to be part of my organization, you have to make sacrifices. Do we have a deal? As a sweetener, you can try your luck with mine. Yeah, we have a deal. Two hours? Yeah. Side bet, ten pounds is over fucked in one. <laughs> what man thinks he's a savage, huh? He ain't getting them buns. I made this hat. I was a good milliner. Tell me, don't give a very fuck. pretty hat. He ain't even look at that shit. You ever been in a house this big? You look like a bloody film star. I want a cigarette. That was your game? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look, I've dropped something. Pick it up. Pick it up yourself. You're a fucking barmaid. If I drop a glass on the floor, you pick it up. Yeah? Uh, uh, if I drop a glass uh, on the floor, you bend over and fucking pick up the fucking uh, glass. This motherfucker was definitely about to win the bet. <laughs> Start of the day, I was Lady Sarah of Connemara. By the end, I was a whore with a clap. <laughs> You're a fucking bastard offering me like that. Why did you change your mind, Thomas? All right, that was episode three of Peaky Blinders. Um, pretty decent episode again. Um, my man Tommy be on it, man. Them fucking, he took all that money from the Lees that they was roughing from... Kimber's people and uh got his ass in there with a damn deal even though he fucking uh try to pimp out shorty I keep forgetting her damn name um I don't think he thought my man was gonna rape her though I don't think he I don't know maybe he thought he I don't know nah cause my man said side bet he was gonna be able to fuck her within an hour so my man just thought he had game like that he obviously didn't he ain't fucking try anything. He tried that little dance shit. Then took it straight to the rape. Like, what the fuck? Was he still going to say that he won the bet? Because he fucked her within an hour? Just because he raped her? He didn't say she had to volunteer it, I guess. Man, fuck that dude, man. Billy Kimber is a fucking bitch. Can't stand that motherfucker. Um, shit. I definitely think they're going to fall for each other. Or they're starting to fall for each other or something. Um, and uh, that fucking uh, 
My man beat my man's face in with the damn sink. <laughs> that shit was dope. And then he cut his fucking ear off, B. That shit was wild. <laughs> this shit was out there looking like Holyfield. That shit was squirting blood and all kind of shit. But yeah, like I said, another solid episode. Looking forward to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and check on out if you enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up. Also, make sure to share and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section what you thought. And uh, catch y'all later. Salute the general. Gone.